this plant could soon be a new tool in the fight against COVID-19. That's according to a new study. And it might look a bit familiar. We found that there are three compounds in hemp, all cannabinoids, which binds to the spike protein of the SARS coronavirus 2 that causes COVID. Then we were able to test two of these compounds called CBDA and CBGA, and we found that these two compounds are effective individually in preventing the virus from infecting human cells. The study was published in the peer-reviewed Journal of Natural Products. The results are based on studies done in a lab and not on humans in clinical trials. Our studies at this point are preclinical. They are laboratory-based, cell-based, in vitro experiments with cell culture and live virus. We are in the process of developing and helping to work with clinicians to establish the efficacy of these compounds in clinical trials. Richard says the compounds are not psychoactive, so people shouldn't be able to get high from them. And they're most useful in preventive approaches. So people who've been exposed to other individuals with COVID and need to isolate could take a, a pill like a cannabinoid extract and stay healthy because of the antiviral capability of these compounds. People can ought not to be relying on them, say, when hospitalized with severe COVID infections. I wouldn't advocate for using cannabinoids to treat them to get well. We anticipate that ingesting these compounds as pills, tablets, that sort of thing, as dietary supplements or as pill form as medicines, will be more effective than smoking or vaping because the acid forms of the cannabinoids like CBDA are sensitive to heat. Richard says cannabinoids have a long history of safety with respect to human consumption and use. But more research is needed to determine just how effective they could be in combating COVID. We believe that quite quickly we'll be able to move from these preclinical findings to the clinic and demonstrate efficacy in people. The reason we can move quickly is because of the experience we already have had with over-the-counter hemp preparations and extracts containing cannabinoids. I'm very hopeful that we'll see clinical evidence during the next several months that cannabinoids and cannabinoid mixtures can prevent COVID from occurring in people exposed to the virus. Thank you.